The World Health Organization estimates that around 466 million people worldwide out of the total population of 7.7 .7 billion are hearing impaired. From this figure, 432 million are adults, while 34 million are children. Hearing loss may result from genetic causes, complications at childbirth, certain infectious diseases, the use of particular drugs. In Ghana, 211,712 out of the total population of about 29 million are living with a condition, according to the Ghana Statistical Service report of 2018. As to the second point of the children at birth being able to talk, but then down the line um, lose their hearing, um, the only if there's a convulsion, sometimes um, children who develop convulsive problems or meningitis or even cerebral malaria can suffer some hearing impairment as a consequence of the infection they suffered. So in the event of cerebral malaria, if the hearing impairment occurs, usually it's permanent. In the event of meningitis, if hearing impairment occurs, it's permanent. But um, Kolebu for the last couple of years has been doing newborn screening. And I think Trust Hospital to does it last also recently. The law or Ghana's regulations stipulate that anybody at an, any entry point in school. So when you go to crash, you see you go to class one, you go to class say so you go to class one. So your first point of entry, you have to assess your hearing. You go to GHS one, you have to assess your hearing. You go to SHS one, you have to assess your you go to first year university, you have to assess your hearing. Uh, this by, by in quotes uh, regulations, it has to be done. Yeah.